frisbee today. I know we didn't win, but I still had fun. Well, I'm glad you had fun, but you really did a terrible job. Bye. I tried my best. Well, <laughs> your best is pretty awful. If that's your best, like, I feel like there are babies that could outperform you on the frisbee field. Not even kidding. My mom and dad always say, live big, love big, always do your best, and don't forget that you can do amazing things. Hey guys, what's up? It's fun to see you again. We have had a great homeschool year so far. And one of the things we're really excited about is all the different things we get to study in homeschool. One of the things that we like a lot is the STEM stuff. And so we get to partner again with 4-H. This is a partnership with 4-H. We actually got to partner with them last year. Was it last year, Scott? Two years ago. What? Two years ago we partnered with 4-H. We loved it. We loved it. Oh, it was when we made the food. The meal, that right? That good. Anyway, we got to partner with 4-H. This is our second time, so we're really excited about it, but we were gonna show you what we're doing. We're actually gonna show the girls how to map hurricanes. Isn't that kind of cool? I'm super excited. <laughs> okay, so if you guys really like STEM activities, they have a website that's free. It's 4-H STEM Lab, where you can find this and lots of different other activities that will help you learn different cool things. So make sure you check out 4-H STEM Lab. We will link to it in the description below. We have lots of storms around here. Hurricanes don't usually make it up to us, but we've had the remnants of hurricanes, but we are gonna map some hurricanes with this cool stuff. This is where we're gonna map two different hurricanes and we're gonna plot some different points, which should be good for these girls who are, you've done plot points in mm -hmm. math, haven't you? Have you done them yet? What's that? Nope, I guess that's a no. So we're gonna plot some of the points and they're gonna learn to see what the path looks like. Brayla, you wanted to show your STEM thing that you just got yesterday, don't you? Yeah, I, okay, I really show. do. Okay, I'll follow ya. you. guys playing with Bray stuff? Yep. Yeah, we're just connecting Play. random things right now. Well, Wait, it's all right, we're not gonna break it. It'll be just fine, we got it. There's one thing that's super simple that I love to make. Okay, so this is a circuit board that's STEM related? Yeah, it's uh, this way. No. Hey, can I do it? No. Why? Nice. Whoa, nice. cool. There you go, baby. And it almost hit me in the face. Okay, right? let's go do our hurricane mapping, okay? All right, so we are going to try and map these hurricanes. We're gonna map two hurricanes. What are they? Do you guys even remember these hurricanes? We're gonna map Hurricane Katrina, and we're gonna, and this happened in 2005, so you weren't even born. And we're <laughs> gonna map Hurricane Rita, that was right after Hurricane Katrina. Let me just show you exactly what we're gonna do and then you guys can go over to the website. We'll put the link in the description where you can look at the different 4-H options, uh, the different STEM options on the 4-H stage uh, lab website. So, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our coordinates. Let's start with Katrina. We're gonna take our coordinates, which are on here. See they're each organized by date and time and then you're going to put them on one of the maps. So we'll do Hurricane Katrina on one, Hurricane Rita on the other. How are you guys doing on your plots? You just picking your points first? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so they're starting by picking four points, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna plot them on their map. Okay, I said she just plotted points today in math. I did, actually. Yeah, this is good practice. Yeah. And Bray's never plotted points. Welcome to point plotting. Yeah. All right, you got it? Yes. Okay, keep going. I just did something wrong. You did a dot in the wrong spot? Yep. Okay, just ignore that one, do another one. Or do it again. Well, apparently it was right in the middle of the two dots that I Storm's just did. Storm's heading towards mm. Kentucky! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they had hurricanes in Kentucky. Okay, you got some. Did you do four already? Me? Yeah. No, I'm trying to, can, I'm gonna erase oh, it so that I can get in the direct spot. smart. Okay. There! So, okay, I found her first plot right. point. Here. Ding, ding, ding. Let me see. I found oh, two. Smart. Good. There we go. Okay, there's one. And yours was a category five, Kaya? Yes. And what did yours become? Is what? It category five, two? Where is that? It'll say over here. Oh, so it started category one, that now it's on. It became a category two. Cat yeah. Oh gosh, that was a bad year. Months. I remember that year. 2005 was bad. Do you remember that? Yeah. Both hurricanes right back to back. Yeah. Sad. So, so sad. The hurricane didn't even touch Florida. I mean, look at that. If you'd like connect those two dots, it's literally grazing it. Barely that's missed Miami. That's insane. That's crazy. Yeah, I remember literally. it like went up in here and then swung around and just nailed Louisiana. That's insane. This one is like right above Houston. 
Okay, cool. I remember that. Okay. Um, there were a lot of people that moved up to Dallas from that hurricane. Really? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. 24. Mom, I'm gonna need your help. Okay. I have my four points. Okay, let me see. Sorry. Ba bam Okay, so now you're gonna take your ruler and connect them in order, and that'll show you the tracking. Can I use uh, a pencil path. first? You shouldn't need to. I just don't trust myself. Sure. Started by Cuba on yours. Yeah, okay. it barely hit it. Then it came up this way, and then it came up. I'm guessing it hit there, but I didn't have all the facts. But then it <clears throat> went up by Houston yeah. and up. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, what's up? Hi, Missy. What are you doing? Good. Are you playing with Dandy? Yeah. You say hi to our friend. Hi. <laughs> Cayman, what's your favorite thing about your school with mommy at home? What words can you read? Do you remember the one you read to me the other day? What was it? I. I? Yeah, that is one you can read, huh? Why do you have rubber bands on your fingers? Oh, because they put me on it. Can I put them on you? Hmm. All right, kid, you have your trajectory hit and land? Yes. There you go. America. Right in Baton Rouge. Wow, that's not okay. good. This is cool, you guys. Yeah, it's really cool. You guys like doing sim stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay. Science is my favorite subject. I'm and glad. so, because sim is like science, technology, engineering, and math, and I love them all. All right, you guys, the dog is barking out there. Okay, so uh, I'm doing another activity with the girls. This one is practicing good digital citizenship. You know, people w w don't say the nicest things online. If you were letting your kids uh, build a YouTube channel, you want to make sure that people are being nice to them, but you also want to make sure that your kids are being nice to other people online. And so when we're talking about practicing good digital citizenship, this is all about making sure that the kids are uh, are uh, aware of what's appropriate, what's not appropriate. They and can know what to do when it's bad. And they can, yeah, recognize the signs of bullying and stuff like that. So you guys, guess what? We've got a couple of little skits we're gonna yes! do. <laughs> oh, I always tell Kaya yes! that uh, we need You're to do dad's, yes, dad. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> we need to do dad's acting academy because Kaya and I are really good actors. Dad needs to go to his own acting We're academy. good thespians. Yes. And so we're really excited to, to, to do some acting. Okay, mom, can you come and film yeah, this so we can get into the mood? Ready, yeah, and so here we go. I'm and then if you want to practice this stuff with your kids at home, totally do it. Yeah. It's the 4-H the STEM lab is where you get all of yeah. these free resources. So go yeah. and check that out. Yeah, we'll link to that. We I like STEM. That. All right. Okay, so. Dad's Acting Academy, take one. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be person Two. All right, so here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to recognize or listen to what we're saying and then think about if you've ever heard a conversation like this online and how you would have handled it. And then I want you to, to go back to your kids, talk to them and see if they recognize, you know, show this video to them, see if they recognize any of this, like if they've seen any of this stuff online and then talk to them about what was maybe appropriate and what wasn't. Okay, ready? You're person one, I'm person two. A great volleyball game today. We worked hard as a team even though we didn't win. Uh, I guess the game was okay. You you could have done better. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed in myself. Disappointed? You should be embarrassed. It was terrible. I did my best. Well, your best wasn't good enough. Okay. Uh, you got to do better. Uh, I want to play volleyball in college, but I, I wait. You, does, I'm person two. <laughs> See, I was a master in theater class. You've got to do better. I want to play volleyball in college, but I won't get a scholarship if our team keeps this up. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. It doesn't matter. You play terribly. And I wish the coach would just cut you from the team. <laughs> I think my mom. Okay. That's not nice. Sad face. So, have you ever experienced anything like that? Have you ever, have you ever been around somebody who just doesn't have anything nice to say? What are, what are, like, Bray, what, are you, what could you say to somebody who is like that? It was just like, just totally like negative. What would you say? Get out of my life. What? Get out of my Whoa. life. <laughs> Brailler cuts out any negativity. Brailler actually probably, well, no, you're too nice. I don't think you would do that. She would never yeah. couldn't be able to. not able to. She would just, what she would do is she, Brailler's actually really good about hearing things, but not letting things 
get into her head. Well, and that's so. honestly like that conversation is what we call a troll online. Yeah, that's trolling. So it really doesn't matter what you I say in defense. The team. <laughs> they don't have any. They don't. In those cases, you don't expect anything better from that person. You have to move on. That's your team teammate trolling you. Yes. Online. <laughs> okay, conversation number two. What are you up to this weekend? Were you invited to Carson's party? No. Too bad, all the popular people will be there. Guess you aren't popular. Yeah, I'm upset about it. You're obviously not as cool as us. You should try harder. Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> That's a good one. That was good. Alright, so what would you do in that situation? If I like was... Like if, if one of your friends said that to you. Oh. I'd be like... Don't jump in the face! No. Sounds like <laughs> it's definitely not practicing That's good digital citizenship. That's what I would say, but I actually wouldn't do that. This is like, imagine this as a text conversation, because this is digital citizenship. Um, would that person be your friend? No. No? I'd yeah. probably confront them in person and talk to them about it and be like, why would you say that? Yeah. That's, that's not nice. Are you, so what are you doing? The whole point is that it's important to be kind online. Um, because when, when you're not kind, it hurts people's feelings. And it's especially, it's especially important with text because it's difficult to read someone's emotions going into it. So you don't know if they're coming from a place of anger or, you know, so it's, that's why emojis help. <laughs> no, so the point is, is just practice good, good citizenship online. Be good, be good to people, be nice, don't troll. Teach your kids how to do those things too. Teach them teach how to them be respectful. Teach them how to respond if they do get. And comments. then yeah, and then teach the kids how to respond if they do. And and it's not by you don't respond by being angry and lashing out and uh, fighting with people online. You respond by Punch the computer. Um, either just ignoring it no, or or you can respond with kindness. That's actually worked a lot of times with us Kill with kindness. our troll trolls. <laughs> That's what I always say. Hey, all right, you guys, we want to thank 4-H again for partnering with us on this video. Make sure to go check out the 4-H STEM Lab. We have links in the description below for all of the cool activities that we did. So if you want to do them with your kids, if you just want to have some really cool free STEM ideas uh, and curriculum, you can go and check out the stuff in uh, the links in the description below. Otherwise, remember, you guys can do amazing things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. Yeah. All I'm thinking about is when you'll come around ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey. Tell me your heart Is it only me? Is it only me? You've got all night call Cause I need to know, baby